Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a very happy and productive week. And of course, being Friday, today means it's time for my question of the week video. So if you guys do have any study related questions, then make sure to leave them in the comment box below. You can actually also send them through on my other social media accounts too, at study with Jess for Instagram and Twitter. So if you guys aren't following me, make sure you go follow me there as well. But today's question of the week is something that I'm really excited to address because I feel like no matter how old you are, it's going to apply and be beneficial for all of us. So I'm really excited to get into it. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, then thumbs up to let me know. And also comment below. I'd love to read all of your thoughts and comments as well on today's topic. So today's question of the week comes from Jade and Jade asked the following. Jade says, Hey Jess, love your Q of the Week videos. I want to be successful in life and I work really hard, especially because I'm in my last year at university. How can I become successful after I finish studying? Love, Jade. So Jade, I think the most important thing when talking about being successful in life is to actually define what does success mean for you? And I feel like all of us are going to have slightly different definitions and that's totally fine, that's normal and if anything there's no right or wrong answer or definition for success, it's just depending on what you feel is important to you and what you want to accomplish and get out of your life. So in my opinion, I think if you want to attain success in your life, you have to define it and give yourself something to focus on so that you can inch yourself closer towards achieving that goal and I think Personally, I like to have everything written down. I feel that being able to read over something, it just gives me a bit more direction on what it is that I want to achieve and get out of my life. So I really encourage you guys to write down your definitions of success and I thought I'd even share with you my definition of success a little bit later in today's video. And if you do happen to have some trouble working out your definition of success, then something that worked really well for me was to actually think back to a time when I felt really successful in life and I felt like I had accomplished something, I achieved something, I was really proud of myself. So personally, I thought I'd just share this with you so you can get a bit of an idea on, on what to do or what to think about. For me, a time when I felt really successful in life was when I was working on my study skills book, The High School Survival Guide. And no, I'm not trying to endorse my book here and I'm not trying to say that I felt really good because I got to write 36,000 words or I get to call myself a published author. It's really not about that. What it was for me was actually that I was able to sit down for a long amount of time and work really hard on something that was really rewarding. I got to create something that never existed before and I love that. I love creating things and bringing new things into the world that are going to benefit others. And I like that it challenged me as well because writing a book, it's a long process. It's, it's hard. It's hard to come up with all of the content. It's hard to you know, think of everything that you want to put down on paper and make sure that it comes across the right way. So it really challenged me. But at the same time, I was also so grateful for this opportunity that I know not many people get to have, especially in their 20s. And I got to work with some fantastic people. I got to learn from experts in their field that knew so much more about publishing and design and production and manufacturing and marketing, you name it. So for me, being successful, was actually about being able to work on exciting projects that brought about new opportunities for self-growth. Now, apart from thinking about your definition of success, another thing I really advise you guys to do is actually turn it into a positive affirmation that you can get to read over regularly. So having it as an affirmation rather than just a definition, personally, I find that to be a lot more empowering and it really helps you to feel like you are moving closer and closer towards achieving what it is that you want out of life. So I wrote down my definition of success along with an affirmation of being successful and I thought I would share it with you guys now. So I hope you guys can appreciate it and that it does give you guys some inspiration on how to write yours out. And if you guys have a vision board, this would be the perfect place to display it as well. But anyways, here is my definition of success along with my affirmation as well. So I wrote, and I have this on my phone because I was doing this only earlier this week. I actually do have it pinned on my vision board too though, but I like to have it on my phone purely because, I don't know, you want to display it everywhere that you possibly can. So I wrote this. I wrote, success means working with people who are experts in their field. I work on exciting new projects that allow me to attain new skills and form fantastic and memorable experiences. I grow and I feel I'm not limited by what I do. 
My work gives me financial freedom and peace of mind. I feel a sense of purpose and my hunger to accomplish and enjoy more opportunities and projects grow. So as you can see, my affirmation and idea of success, it doesn't really relate directly to financial gain at all. And the reason I wanted to also make this video and address this question is because I feel like so many people commonly associate the idea of success with money. And I don't think that that's the case because if I were to win the lottery tomorrow, which would be great, not saying I don't wanna, but if I did win the lottery tomorrow and millions of dollars just fell into my lap, yes, I would be very grateful, I'd feel very fortunate or blessed and lucky, but I wouldn't really feel successful in life because I didn't really accomplish anything. I didn't achieve anything, I didn't grow, I didn't learn anything, I don't really have anything to show for all of my efforts. So I wanted to make this video because I want you guys to realize that being successful, it's not about the money. It's actually about finding a sense of purpose in what you do in life. And I feel like I'm finally at this place in my life where I genuinely love what I do. It makes me feel so fulfilled. I'm able to be creative. I'm able to still use my academic skills. I'm able to teach. I'm able to learn. I'm constantly learning from other people. And I just find that to be so rewarding. So. It doesn't matter how much money I make. I feel like even at my age, I feel like I am a successful person because I've jumped, I've taken a leap of faith and I work really hard at what I do and I feel like there is a greater good to what I do as well. I'm not just doing it for myself, I'm doing it for you guys too. So I hope you enjoy today's video. And Jade, thank you so much for sending in your question. I hope that I have given you some guidance on how you can be successful in your life too. And if you guys did enjoy today's video, then like I said, show me some love and thumbs up. And if you guys aren't subscribed, also make sure to click the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys on Monday for brain food. But until then, have a very happy and productive weekend. Bye.